Could you please uh, in int briefly introduce yourself, uh, your name and, and where you're from? I'm Sonto Maise from Durban Convention Bureau from South in Africa. South Africa. All right, yeah. you made a, quite a trip. Yes. Yeah, and, it is. and you? And I'm Magnus Engsel from Nordic Choice Hotels in Sweden. Okay, from Sweden. Hey, and, and Sonto, how have you just experienced this session that we uh, witnessed? Well, to sum it up, it has been the best program ever uh, because really it's not usual to have this interactive session, especially with the experienced people from the industry, and you have to ask them questions and they actually give you advice on the challenges and changes in the industry so it has been good this one was the best oh wow <laughs> well i guess that's a lucky pick yeah. and, and magnus what would be your ma you're okay to take the microphone i guess yeah. uh, what would be your uh, uh, your main takeaway from the from the past uh, 60 minutes well it's uh the good, good ideas that the uh, faculty members and the and the panel actually gave us when, d during the uh, session. Yeah. And that, could you uh, pick one that, that sticks to mind? Well, one is that uh, from uh, Juan Carlos when he mentioned this bit that uh, be very very prepared before you even start asking uh, to uh, host a bid or something because it just go into the ICA database, ask, uh, go see what other cities have had it before. Mm -hmm. and uh, check with other associations that have been there and what is efficient was it how efficient was it the logistics and so forth so uh, i think it's uh, being very very prepared i think that's the one uh, i'm going to take with me definitely right. from this session a good one yes so what would you add to that well you know, we've been having these questions about subventions mm -hmm. uh, in our convention bureau. It was good that it was touched on and it gave an insight of really what subventions are and also how can you develop them, especially in the area that you're not only looking at the money side, exactly. but it's about economic development of the destination as well. So it was very, very good to hear that and it was well clarified. All right, so I'm all right. glad. Hey, and, and if we zoom out a bit, I mean, because you made quite an effort to get here to Amsterdam. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about the previous two days? What, what, what's what been going on here at the, the RSMP program? Well, as I said, you know, um, I had my own perceptions because as a newcomer, you always think, oh, okay, what am I going to do? What is happening and all that. Yeah. But really, the interactive sessions that we've had and to have some time with really these guys who are experienced in the industry, giving you ideas and also learning about the building process because that's what is most important in every destination was the best educational thing that I'm going to take with. It has been knowledgeable and not only for me personally, for my profession as well. Wow, so it's been good. that's personal. Yeah. That, that, that's nice. Magnus, the, the past two days, how, how are they for you? What, what happened? Well, I agree what uh, Sonte said as well. And uh, to add to that is that the uh, actual the faculty members that have been uh, invited to these uh, uh, during these two days and to this uh, event has been very, very open with uh, in answering the questions that you've uh, asked them and uh, really gave us a lot of secret ideas and everything. So I think it's a very good choice of uh, faculty members. And uh, the networking uh, has been excellent as well. All right. Because so, of being so a, it's a small group, yeah, and I don't think yeah, there's about 155 delegates yeah. right here. and I don't right? think yeah. uh, that the RSMP should increase more than this uh, small, tiny, cozy group because uh, you have time. Sant and I was discussing this before that you have time to meet up with everyone and to network with everyone and get ideas from everyone. The larger the group, then you just find a small group and you stick with that yeah. through the whole event. Yeah. So I think it's a good size group. So the most important question on the table, and then again we go to the level of this meta-learning, looking, reflecting on this being a hybrid event, I think some of, of event planners out there or directors out there are, are worried about cannibalization, right? So if we open up this session to the world and everybody can watch, would you then next time would not make the effort to make the trip over here? How, how would that be for you personally? Would you, if you know that there's a, one of the sessions is hybrid, would you stay in Sweden or would you still want to come over here? Well, <laughs> well I would, yes, I could stay in Sweden, but then I would miss out on the networking. Exactly. I would fo probably follow the sessions and uh, if it would be more than one hybrid session, I would do that. But I think the interaction between two people, mm -hmm. 
seeing each other and touching each other. I think that's more important than actually watching it hybrid. Hybrid yeah. is very good if you don't have the economy. You can't travel all the way because of reasons. Yeah. And I think it's excellent with these hybrid sessions. But the interaction between people is still important. Exactly. And I think that's uh, very good. All right. And it's been an excellent destination as well. Well, yeah, that's that's a praise for Amsterdam. Thanks, uh, Magnus. Uh, would you like something to add? Well, yeah, that's a difficult question. Yeah, but, especially for the trip uh, you made all the way the from trip, South Africa. Of course, but um, as I said, the interactive sessions that you have and also the experience that you get from the experienced people from the industry is more important. Well, I would look at it in two ways. You have a team in the office yeah. that can watch. And they can actually join you. They, they can sit right next join. to you. Yes. Yeah. So I think maybe we can decide. Um, it is good to have the hybrid sessions for the people who are back at home. Yeah. And maybe one or two people can travel because you still need the networking part. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like like the beautiful instance with, with your neighboring country of in Zimbabwe course, who, yes. who are joining who us are and joining get a chance to enjoy this education. All right. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, looking at the clock, I'm, uh, I'm going to thank you very much. Thanks for being here and thanks for your willingness to share your experience. I mean, you're now in front of a worldwide audience, so you might get a little bit famous out <laughs> after this. Um, and I'm, I'm going to close off. Thank you very much. Have a, have a safe and good trip back to uh, both Sweden and South Africa. And of course, enjoy the rest of your stay right here. Thank you for the great opportunity.